And now, fight fans, we are set to go with our next fight tonight. Six rounds, featherweight action. First to make his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Here's the veteran from Tijuana, Saul Hernandez. The veteran, Saul Bebe Hernandez from Tijuana, Mexico. Over 30 fights in his career. I knew Bebe when he only had two losses. Now he's got 15. But he's coming strong because this guy will fight you anywhere, in any division, on any day. And he is tough as he can be. Great personality, great attitude. He will battle you. He'll go the distance with you. The toughest fighters you can fight. They have nothing to lose, and they just keep coming. They're not here to get just a paycheck. They're here to, to actually win. Puro Cachanilla is the song he's coming out to. Joe, who's his opponent? And his opponent ready to make his way to the ring. Here's the undefeated featherweight from Norwalk, California, Jaffet Lee Lamido. <laughs> Jaffet Lee Lamido. He fought a couple months ago on the Golden Boy Show. It looked good. And here he is again, our second bout of the night here on Gold the Boy Fight Night. Being brought out by Aristeo Lamido, trained by his father. As you were mentioning about though, his girlfriend is actually in his corner, who's also a professional boxer. Yeah. Cool girl Steph, she'll be fighting next week. Shout out to Leonardo Partido watching us in Salinas, California. Daniel Choa watching us in Blythe. He's got a lot of his family watching us. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for six rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red trunks tonight, he weighed it officially 132 pounds. This 33-fight veteran holds a record of 17 victories, 15 defeats, one draw with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, El Bebe, Saul Hernandez. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks, trimmed in white. He weighed it officially 128 and one half pounds. In seven fights, he stands perfect. Seven victories, including three big wins coming by way of knockout from Norwalk, California. The undefeated, Jeff and Lee Lamido. And your referee in charge of the action, Eddie Hernandez. I've been over the rules with you both are professionals. I expect you to conduct yourself as such. Test gloves. Eddie Hernandez, the third man in the ring. Pat Russell, Carla Caiz, and Alejandro Rochin are our judges. The Ronda Bell working the bell. You're about to hear the timekeeper extraordinaire. Got the hammer today. Ready for this fight. Six rounds in the featherweight division. Hit that bell around it. There we go. We're ready to go here. <laughs> Bethany around alongside Alexis Rocha. Lamido, the southpaw in the black. Baby Hernandez, the veteran in the red trunks. And uh, as a veteran, and a fighter like Baby, he got called a few days ago. He said, no problem. I will take it. Did not hesitate. Respect to the fighters that come out like that. But Lamido is a fighter who is so locked in in boxing. Breathes, sleeps, and eats boxing. Lamido is relaxed. He's focused. Nice slip by Lamido. Nice body shots by Hernandez. 
Hospital. And thank you for watching wherever you may be. A special shout out to ESPN writer, Professor Andrade Franco in El Paso, Texas, who's watching us right now. And he's like, wait, did you guys just mention Carlos Ocampo? Yeah, Ocampo will be two fights from now. So make sure you follow Professor Franco. Andrade Franco does a great job and excellent boxing writer for ESPN. Mm -hmm. And as I said, Hernandez, is, despite all his record, he comes to win. Oh, absolutely. He definitely comes to win. Will he? Probably not. The attitude? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He, he always thinks he's the A-side guy. Yeah, and you got to give him credit. Comes to fight. It doesn't come just to take a paycheck. Four years ago, we saw Bebe Hernandez fight Joshua Franco at 115 pounds at the Belasco Theater, which was a great development series that Golden Boy had in downtown Los Angeles. You're familiar I with I remember it. the Belasco. Yeah. The, the good old days. Yeah, where they put the ring on the dance floor and get going, but you had to fight your way out of there. Yeah. And Bebe was used by Golden Boy matchmaker, Roberto Diaz, and Javier Razo to develop the young fighters. So this is a good opportunity for Jaffet Lee Lamito to show us what he has. To show us his skill set. He was supposed to fight an opponent from Chile, but the opponent did not clear customs. Okay. So Lamito, along with his team, said no problem, we'll take on Baby. They're very confident in Lamito, who trains nearby in Anaheim. He has his own gym. He's from Norwalk, California. Lamito is slipping punches, but once he backs out, he always gets hit by the long range Hernandez. Yeah, this one, they both weighed in. And Lamito weighed in at 128, Hernandez at 132. That's why it's listed as a lightweight. And lightweight. Lamito agreeing to go up just to make sure that he had a fight. 126 is where he wants to fight. And you've done that, Alexis, right? We're early yeah. on in your career where we don't care. Let's just get the fight in because you, after the training camp, you want to make sure you work, right? Yeah, especially this early on in your stage career when you have four fights, five fights. You usually have an opponent scheduled. Then last minute, they pull out literally the week of the fight. They replace it by another opponent. Nice first round by both fighters. Here we see the Mito counter punching. The Mito's a beautiful southpaw. Hernandez shaking his head saying no. Gotta give Hernandez credit. He's always coming. He's gonna be in your face. I expect this from him the whole fight. The whole fight. The Lamito with those body shots should break, be able to break him down. I thought Lamito was a southpaw, but it looks like he switches he is, stance. He is a southpaw, and he will switch with ease, which is a lot of what the younger fighters do. You're a southpaw. You stay southpaw, right? Yeah, I can't fight orthodox for the life of me. As he's coming out, as Lamito's coming out, orthodox now, effortlessly. And then moving back and forth is what Lamito likes. And you see Lamito. His last fight was on the Surdo undercard of May 14th at Honda Center. He mm -hmm. won a fifth round stoppage against Edgar Figueroa. I love that. Young fighter. And they bring you back quickly. And Lamito is cut on the right eyebrow. I believe that was a headbutt. Which would have surprised me from the South Paul. South Paul with the dog stands. But that's very important, Lemuto's doing. He's staying active, and that's very important when you're barely coming up to knock out victories. It's very good. I love seeing that for young fighters. You remember the first time you were cut? Um, I believe my first time I was not actually never been cut. I had a small cut my last fight. Yeah. March 19th at the game lane against Blair. I had a small cut, but it didn't really affect me. So let's see how it affects. Lamito. And that's something that, you know, this is why the progression when you're fighting in the second fight of the night, you want to see fighters, as we've said it many times, it doesn't matter if you knock somebody out in 15 seconds, it doesn't help you. It doesn't. Sometimes, yeah, it looks good to pat down your record with knockouts, but once you're in heavy and once you're tested with guys like Hernandez that come to fight that are literally just smothering you with punches and throwing punches back, it's always good to get that experience. 
And Lamito's a fighter who started his career in Mexico. I met him at Big Punch Arena. Shout out to the Mecca of Boxing, as Tim Boxale would call it. You know, at Big Punch, you're you're not getting much resistance. Mm -hmm. And here he is, Baby Hernandez is gets hit and stands right there with them. You're not gonna have trouble finding him. And Baby saying, come on, in the red trunks. And the thing is, Hernandez is taking punches very well and saying, come on, right back. Yeah. And he's delivering his punches as well. Weak Sauce Radio, Marquise Johns catching up with us. Great follow on Boxing Twitter. Body shot from Lamito, nice that's a nice one. Lamido. Body shots are nice from Lamito. He's digging in that body. You like his movement? I love his movement. As Southpaw, Lamito's using his movement, his reach, his distance. You see now he's pitter patting. Make sure to throw the hard shot to the body or to the top. Hernandez saying no. Stacks ringside, Anthony Saldana. One of the good guys in the sport watching us right now. Shout out to Alexis Rocha. Shout out to Santa Ana. Yeah. Shout out to my whole family back home. Yeah. Shout out to Hector Lopez, Cutman C. Everybody. Robert Villa Senor. The list goes on. Yeah, everybody's watching right now. You're driving Honda Center. Thank you for joining us on the Golden Boy Fight Night. Here on the YouTube page. Done with two. Hernandez is the type of fighter that won't back down. Beto's trying to see if that was a accidental head clash or was it from a punch. Let's see what they rule it by. Here's the replay of it. Oh, it looks like it was caused by a punch from Hernandez. All right, good body work, just what you like, Alexis. Another good round for Dr. Lamito. And we were told that it was a clash of heads that cut on Lamito's right eyebrow. So it was oh, okay. from a headbutt. Got the confirmation, ringside. Oh, okay. I thought Hernandez may have caught him there with that left, with that left hook or left jab. All right, so también saludos a Paulo Vega in Barranquilla, Colombia, watching us right now. The needle gets worn in behind the head. So, so we've got people watching all over. Thank you for joining us. Is Jafet Lee Lamito, who's 7 0, 3 KOs. And yeah, Saul Bebe Hernandez, El Bebe. And these are the type of fights that are going to develop the Mito. Yep. You know that, Alexis, as they bring you up. What's your record now? 19 and 1. 19 and 1. Lamito with a good one, too. Goes back to Orthodox in the black. Coming up next is going to be Ping Pong Reyes of Moises Flores. Lamito, 22 years old. He's an interesting guy because he's so locked in on boxing. He doesn't do anything else, he stays home. And he watches K-drama, which is Korean soap operas. That's what he watches on Netflix. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, he said, I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything. I, I'm so locked in on boxing. I want to just I go train, I come home, and that's it. Eat, sleep, boxing, right? Yep. That's good. That's what you got to do. You got to have that discipline. Of course. Hernandez lands a shot, but you can tell that Hernandez in red doesn't have the power behind those shots. Yeah. When, when a fighter doesn't have the power, what do you do, Alexis? Yeah, when the fighter doesn't have a power like that, you just move your head as much as you possibly can. You don't want to get hit, obviously. You don't want to deserve any punishment. But that allows you to keep it come forward, you know, throw a couple shots. You see, like, that's not phasing Lamito at all. Cause Lamito some blocks and punches. With the very game opponent in Hernandez. Julio Carrillo watching us in Pasco, Washington. Thanks for joining us. Tony Hernandez, Monica Chavez in Pomona. I love how Lamito digs with that left hook to the body. From the Southpaw stands and from Orthodox stands. Fighting on the Golden Board card. Some Thale Media, the Truzma All-Stars watching us. He's moving around. That one right behind the head. Yeah, Eddie Hernandez already warned him. Baby didn't like that. 
the movement from Lamito is really nice. It's giving you nice lateral movement from Lamito. This is our second bout. Two more free for you here on Golden Boy Fight Night on YouTube. Queen Pon Rey is next and Carlos Ocampo. And then at 5 o'clock on the zone, you'll see Evan Sanchez opening up the broadcast. Hernandez keeps complaining about rabbit punches in the back of the head. And when you have long arms like Lomito and you throw check hooks, you throw hooks, sometimes it will get him back at the head, but they're not. It doesn't mean he's doing it intentionally. Sometimes they just go back there and just hit them. Hit them. Bethel Duran alongside Alexis Rocha and you. Thank you for joining us. We'll do a lot of resets. We know that it's a busy Saturday afternoon. Boxing. It's also Hall of Fame weekend. And shout out to the legendary Bernard Hopkins getting inducted. Three classes are going to be inducted this year because of COVID and restrictions. They're going to induct classes of 20, 21, and 22. Uh, Doug Fisher, editor-in-chief of Ring Magazine, is there. Bernard Hopkins, it's a who's who there in Canasota, New York. Our main event tonight, Jaime Munguia taking on Jimmy Kelly as we head to the fourth round. It's scheduled for six. Japheth Lee Lamito in the black controlling this fight. And gets a last-minute replacement in Baby Hernandez. Right hand for Lamito. And Alex, when you're taking on an opponent who is a last-minute replacement and he's fighting in a division that's not his, and you're starting to break him down, fourth nice round, schedule for six, what do you do? Do you step on the gas? You, you cruise? What do you do? No, you step on the gas. You want to get a good knockout, especially with the last-minute opponent. You want to get a knockout. Break him down. He's, I love how Lamito's always come into the body with the left hook. You see those check hooks. Like I said, he has those long arms that could possibly get in the back of his head. But Lamito should be stepping on the gas pedal right now. But give Hernandez credit. Like I said, he's been game this whole fight. Takes some shots, but comes right back. Give me shots. Jarrell, what's happening, man? How you doing, Jarrell? Cool, Mustafa? But, like, that right, you want to see him... Forward. Fo follow up. Follow up on more shots like that. That's the voice of Alexis Rocha. Want to give a shout-out to the twins, Matthew and Mason, back home, tuning in. All right, no more shout-outs. If you want a shout-out, you better show up here to Honda Center. Yeah, you better sh yeah, show up. <laughs> there it is. Also, Dan, thank you for watching. Bert in Vancouver, Canada, who's joining us. Adrian Hernandez in Michigan. We see the comments coming through. We appreciate you interacting with us. We know it's early in the afternoon. More of a relaxed broadcast as we work towards the way of Jaime Munguia. And Jimmy Kelly, also Oscar Duarte, Mark Bernaldez, Yoko Valle, and Lorraine Villalobos. The females will be going at it. Less than a minute to go in the fourth round. What does Lamito have in him? Can step on the gas and put away the last minute replacement, Saul Baby Hernandez. Let's see if he puts his gas on the pedal. Or puts his, foot to the, puts his foot to the pedal, I should say. 33 professional fights for Saul Hernandez. Sometimes it could be discouraging when you're Lamito and you fight a last minute replacement and you're hitting him with such heavy shots and this guy just not, Hernandez is not going anywhere. Sometimes that could be discouraging as a young fighter. Eddie Rodriguez, and you're right, Lamito's girlfriend, Cool Girl Steph, will be fighting next week, Elite Boxing in Commerce, California. And it's uh, breaking him down from Lamito. Nice body work going upstairs. Bebe is just tough as nails. He that is what I mean, Beto. Right you have there. to keep consistent at it, breaking down your opponent, as Hernandez is hurting coming back to the corner. Hernandez tough as yeah. nails. Eddie Hernandez, referee, checking in on the corner of Baby Hernandez. Let's look at the replays from that fourth round. Good one. Nice timing him by Lamito. Came back, stepped back with the nice one-two hook. 
Here's a little attack right here by Lamido. Coming to the body, going to the top, mixing it up. Breaking down Bebe Hernandez. Hernandez very calm in his corner. Uh, we mentioned a lot of people checking in all over the United States. Also, Max, we mentioned a good friend, Paulo, in uh, Colombia. What about our good friend, Justin Donnelly from Middleton Boxing Club in Cork, Republic of Ireland, checking in right now this Saturday afternoon or evening for you. Appreciate you, Justin. It's the fifth round. Bebe Lamido looks like he's ready to go. Pedal. I'll tell you this, though, Bebe. I've, I've worked a bunch of his fights. He is tough as nails. The corner's going to have to stop it for him because he's not – Gonna give in. Sometimes you want to see if the corner is gonna protect the fighter because yeah. he's taking some punishment now. He's taking some punishment. This is where if you're Lamito, just get out of still third gear, right? Hernandez still fighting back. Nice two right hands. Oh, nice left hook by Lamito. Yep. Up next, it's going to be Pimpon Reyes and Moises Flores. Leonard Partido. Okay, you keep saying right hook, bro. All right. I'm, I'm going to say it, Leonard Partido. Hey, jab it. Leonard said a right hook. Can we get a right hook from you? So, yeah, we're looking at the comments. Emoji Man checking in in Dallas, Texas. It's only the eighth fight for Jaffet Lamido. His first four fights were in Tijuana just to get going in his professional career. To get going, build up the little experience that you can. Yep. Has no promoter, so he's on a Golden Boy car for the second time. Looking to put out a good show here. Yep. I mentioned, like, baby Hernandez in the red is just he's too tough for his own good. He's, mm -hmm. he's going to stay there. No giving up in him. At all. And as you were telling me, Bethel, not that many people here. But this is definitely where you want to have the eyes on you. When you're opening up, not many people, but people are tuning in on YouTube to check you out. This is the performance you got to be putting on like Lamido is right now. Like Jorge Estrada did in an opening bow. Make sure you go and check it out later on tonight. Estrada with a knockout at 151 of the first round over Hassan Coleman, who's making his debut. And those two just traded punches back and forth. Here it's more a workmanlike effort from Yafet Lamido in the block. He's breaking down his last minute replacement, so old Baby Hernandez. Hernandez giving him resistance. Oh, nice right hook by Lamido. Followed by another right hand by Lamido. See, you're right. These commenta commentators are fire, man. Appreciate you. Because it's a little hot inside Honda Center. Yeah. Good body work. Hernandez is right. coming right back. He doesn't go anywhere. He don't go anywhere. Good work for Lamido, controlling this fight through five. As Baby comes back, he's wincing. Those body shots take it out of you. Look at the highlights here, Alexis Rocha. As Hernandez lands to the right. He had more power. Ooh. Would definitely catch the attention of Lomito. But Lomito's, like you said, lack of power from Hernandez doesn't give the respect earned to Lomito. Last round coming in. Coming to the sixth round. Six and final round, Eddie Hernandez checks in on us. Old Baby Hernandez in the red. Chaffet Lamido controlling this fight from the opening bell. He's in the black. Also watching us right now this afternoon. Saul Sanchez. He's watching Lamido move around. Saul Sanchez will be fighting on a Thompson show next Friday. 115 oh, nice pounder. Right Lamido coming in aggressive to start the round. Can he put away a very tough Hernandez? 
If Nandis is there, you have no trouble finding him. Mm -mm. He's going to be right there in front of your face, Hernandez is. All right, so if he's coming out this aggressive, how do you finish him, Alexis Rocha? You just got to stay committed to the game plan. If I was in the middle, just keep breaking him down with the, sh keep breaking him down with the body shots. That seemed what to hurt him in the previous round. I believe it was round four that he hit him with the body shots. He worked his way on top. And he went that down. That was a little push by Lomito. And Hernandez is saying a push. Rolling in a knockout. Eddie knockdown. Hernandez, the referee, is going to rule it a knockdown. And Baby Hernandez did not agree with it. And Alexis, you said it might have been a push. And then Baby's controlling it. Either way, ruled the knockdown. Oh, nice. Headbutt. That yeah. Not even a nice. That was, that was a nice headbutt. <laughs> yeah, nice headbutt. <laughs> nice clash between the two. It's been a pretty clear, clean fight considering you have a southpaw and or orthodox fighter. Yeah. Nice count. Hernandez's game keeps throwing punches back, comes forward. Poland checking in. Kirill. Middle switching much. to orthodox, using his jab, timing him. Moving around Lamito. Very nice footwork for Jaffet Lee Lamito, the 22 year old from Norwalk, California. Less than a minute to go in the fight. Up next is going to be Pimpon Reyes against Moises Flores, and afterwards, Carlos Ocampo and Vicente Martin Rodriguez from Argentina. Miro landed a nice right hook. Oh. Hernandez says, shakes his hand saying no. Manu Garcia in the 956 checking in. Jose Cano in Billings, Montana. Good movement. Good movement. Slipping and Miro. landing the punches. Six good rounds for Lomito. Learn something. Fighting back-to-back -back months. The yeah. development of fighter is when you're young, you need rounds. You need rounds. Very crucial. To be active as well. He just fought less than a month ago. Yeah. Now he's back on back on the Jaime Munguia card. Yeah, so he's fought on a suitable card. He's now fighting a Munguia card. And that'll do it. Six rounds. Captain Lee Lomito controls this fight. And shout out to Saul David Hernandez of Tijuana taking the fight on two days' notice. Coming in, making weight like a professional. Goes six rounds, a tough way to earn a living. But the kind of guys that the sport of boxing needs, the backbone of boxing, these journeymen that will come out there and test you. And it was all Jaffet Lee Lamito from the opening bell, Alexis Rocha. Yep. I love how Lamito just slips his punches. Finds his distance very well. I see as a check hook. Yeah, that was actually well the knockdown. It was scored a punch. Sometimes when they push you like that, it can't be a knockout. Knockdown, I should say. But once you glove hitches the can canvas, then it's ruled a knockdown. Lady watching us in Scotland, Edinburgh. For Edinburgh, Scotland. Appreciate you. So we got people worldwide watching you, Alexis Rocha. And Alexis Rocha will be in action July 16th at Crypto.com Arena with Ryan Garcia, the main event. Yes, Alexis sir. Rocha on the card. And that'll be a good one. But tonight, it's all about Jaime McGee in our main event. Joe Martinez, who won this one, according to the judges? Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds, we go to the scorecards. All three judges see this bout the same. 60-54, your winner by unanimous decision, and still undefeated, Javid Lee Lomito! So 60-54, he sweeps the card, as expected. Javid Lee Lomito gets a unanimous decision. Our main event tonight, Jaime Munguia, Jimmy Kelly, also Oscar Duarte, Mark Benaldez, Yoka Valle, and Lorraine Villalobos. The ladies will go at it and opening up the zone broadcast at 5 o'clock Pacific will be Evan Sanchez against Carlos Ortiz. We have another hype video coming your way to let you know about tonight's show.